Hey everyone, welcome back. We're going to be doing a quick review of Hamatora the Animation Episode 5 right now entitled Buddy's Wishes. Now, sorry this review is coming out so fucking late. It came out Monday. I'm recording this on the night. It came out. What was that? Monday the 4th. I'm recording this on. In, already early in the morning on Saturday and not the 9th. So yeah, sorry that it took so fucking long. Um, I literally forgot about it. I'm not kidding. Like, because the series is not that good so far. I mean, last episode I thought was really good. This episode, unfortunately, I'm feeling it's a step back again. It's not terrible, but it's not that great either. And yesterday's episode, well, yesterday, last week's episode I thought was, although not the, one of the best episodes ever, it was amazing in comparison to the shit that we've seen before. Alright, now I just finished recording my Guardians of the Galaxy review, so I'm going to take a quick sip here because... My throats are killing me right now. Yeah. My throat's killing me right now. Oh, God. Anyways, though. That was like an 18-minute long review, over 18 minutes. Anyways, though. Rehamatora. So, one thing I definitely want to bring up is what the fuck is up with art? Like, there's one. It's one thing to keep your character's motives a secret, and it's another thing to just make them so mysterious that it seems implausible. Okay, and really, I feel that's what Art's not even treading on this point. He's far past that fucking line, and Rihamator has yet to dis to prove me otherwise. Basically, because, like, what the fuck is he after? I mean, a lot of people have said he's kind of the anti, uh, what is his name, the, uh, whatever that villain's name was from the first year, for first season, I don't remember what, what his name was, um, Moral, that's right, Moral, um, basically the anti-Moral because Moral was trying to take people's powers of or trying to uh, give people powers and Art is trying to take powers away I guess because he realizes that you know minimum powers aren't inherently evil but they but but but, but they are the products of evil in a way doesn't actually say that but I'm pretty sure that's his mindset but the simple fact is that he somehow has the win min min minimum and it makes no fucking sense and nice, like, I liked his character in season one, now he's just going down the shitter as well. He did have a pretty epic fight scene with Art in this episode, though, which I do have to admit was really cool. And it, of course, ended with nice it, losing because of plot. <laughs> because the plot had to advance. And the plot couldn't advance if the main villain supposedly ends up dying. And also, Art has, like, this partnership with the, like this uh, orga group of minimums that want to do something like attack the war att or attack Hamator or something I don't fucking know it's way too confusing the writing is so everywhere okay in this episode and really the series as a whole like the reason last week's episode worked was because it showed Honey's backstory with her father and they really sold it that you really felt sorry for Honey okay but like with the rest of this fucking series so far, this episode is just everywhere. There's, it doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. So I didn't like this episode that much, except for that fight scene, which was short-lived, but still pretty cool, I have to admit. Anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.